Hello everybody, it's Decentralized Day. From a surprising location, I'm in the middle of my jogging journey. I do jogging, I do approximately 8 kilometers a day, but sometimes 12 kilometers. Today I'm on the small journey, which is 8 kilometer journey. However, during that journey you have to run up the hill as we are at the moment at and you have to do it twice because I literally run across the hill the, again down and then come back up so uh, it's uh, it's not as easy eight kilometers as it might sound but of course I have the liberty to go really slow like a seven uh, kilometer uh, seven minutes a kilometer something like that which is a really slow pace for jogging so I, I compensate with the slow pace that but I love these joggings a lot because just look around me like you must appreciate all of this, uh, of this beauty. Uh, this is the beauty that uh, Slovakia does indeed offer and has in the store. Uh, that's something that I do like and always will about this country. Uh, unfortunately, there are lots of things, uh, especially about its structure and the corruption levels that I uh, not appreciate. I actually hated them. However, that's not the discussion for today's video. Today's video is a FaceTime video and uh, the title says it all. I am coming back all in again because I consider this correction to be enough, more or less. Of course, um, I still think that we have not yet bottomed this correction, but some altcoins might have bottomed or are bottoming like Lux. Today, actually, I came back with my Lux um, because, uh, yeah, uh, because I scaled down. If you've been following my work and my FaceTime series, you do know that more or less I do uh, some kind of a quarterly tradings where I try to scale down the, uh, the exposure before the correction and um, then I come back up after the correction ideally for a, uh, for a lower fiat prices and, uh, and then uh, get more coins this way. And I, uh, I'm allowed to do this uh, because I believe we are still in the early bull market where you have plenty of opportunities to do that because early bull markets are slow and only go uh, two steps up and one step down which I believe is yet again the case even though the last time uh, I was a little bit struggling with this uh, strategy because uh, my uh, November call was prematurely bearish, uh, too soon bearish at the end of November and I consequently I uh, closed two of my positions and then the altcoins uh, still skyrocketed 50% some of them doubled still and uh, that means that I'm not getting my coins those coins back for a, a cheaper fiat nonetheless I continued my strategy in uh, January because I then I realized that okay hey like I was wrong in in November but uh, uh, this is all uh, the, uh, probably thanks to the sell the launch event which the spot ETFs for the Bitcoins were. I say hello to everybody on Twitter who was saying buy the news. There was, uh, there was a tweet on Twitter that's, uh, at, at 49 Bitcoin that, that said that uh, buy the rumor, buy the news. So I say hello. Um, uh, by the way, so bottom line, my last uh, trading in and out even though it didn't go as well as the, as the time before when I scaled down almost fully in summer and came back in September, October. It didn't, it didn't go as well there. <laughs> and then I was even losing my self-confidence a little bit in January. Uh, it, it's also seen from my FaceTime video that I made, the first one in January. I was even debating there that going back and forth like, maybe this is not an early bull market anymore. And you know, maybe you know who knows but okay um, uh, I think that my self conf uh, self confidence uh, 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 persisted and I think uh, um, at, at, I at last I didn't lose it and that was just momentary and uh, I think that uh, I renewed my self confidence at least in the fact that we are still in the in the early bull market um, and uh, we will still remain in the early bull market for many months to come I believe looking forward that uh, there is nowhere to hurry, that there is no uh, late bull market parabolum uh, coming uh, just yet. Uh, but by saying that, I do expect alt season. Um, also, there is uh, the crypto guru as it was hailed. I just seen from him uh, a thousand Ethereum call 
So yeah, uh, it's pretty much alt season is, is behind the door. Uh, and also I expect that uh, uh, Bitcoin can still remain sideways, but Ethereum might start just breaking upwards in February. I don't know if it's gonna be at the end of February or at the, at the start uh, now or in the middle, I don't know. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, I'm not gonna risk it that much. I'm already coming back uh, all in. I'm on my way to come back all in. I today bought back fully my Lux position because uh, I continued my strategy to scale down uh, in January. I continued it around mid-January or so. I scaled down my Lux position and it was Lux uh, was over $10 still. And yeah, now I came back for $8.50 and now for eight. So I got 15% discount, 20% discount. So I got some free cash. I can now make up for my losses from November when I scale down too soon. So uh, bottom line, uh, it's hard to say if I win or lost uh, the last uh, the, the last quarterly uh, speculation uh, in and out. However, uh, indeed, I was uh, adjusting my risk as a, as a result as well, which is valuable. Uh, I gained value there by doing that, and at the same time, um, um, at the same time. I also keep improving, I keep uh, getting better at it by doing it, by uh, delegating my money into this strategy and just learning from the failures and from the victories. Uh, we need both to progress. Um, uh, you know, I try to uphold the, the Mark the Mark the Mezzles lesson, every, the, always learn a little, always learn a little. You know, remember how he was uh, telling us that in 2020? I do remember that. Um, so uh, I'm coming back all in, uh, not yet uh, fully. Uh, I would like to spread it uh, for over a week, two more. Uh, I don't know. One thing that scares me is the fact that the S&P had not pulled back so far after it made its new all-time high. But hey, um, I'm not an expert for S&P by any means. Uh, I don't presume to be, but I have by myself, I discovered that it tends to pull back a little, few, like few percent, after it makes a new all-time high. And it's logical because uh, making a new all-time high generally is a wave of euphoria, kind of, or a uh, hype. Uh, you, you see lots of uh, hype tweets there, then like risk on, risk on. So it just makes sense that it would pull back. Um, and it didn't happen yet. And also then I saw Tom Lee, he also, uh, in his research, he said exactly the same. Seven out of 11 times over the past, uh, I don't know how many decades, when the S&P recovered from a major correction, which is 20% plus, uh, when, it when it broke to the new all-time high, seven out of 11 times, it always pulled back within the next uh, six weeks. <clears throat> uh, of course, uh, it still can happen in the February, but uh, it may also not happen. Uh, but even if it happens, uh, and uh, then crypto will probably again correct maybe even a little more than it already was. Uh, but some altcoins have corrected a lot already, really. 40% and extra, 30 something, 33% lacks and counting, even more now. So from this perspective, I would say that the altcoins should be almost done correcting. Um, and yeah, and also, yeah. So. Uh, even if, if even if we still bottom out this correction during the month of February, I expect it to be brief, on lasting a few a few weeks, and that is certainly something that uh, that's completely okay uh, uh, to happen to us. Uh, so yeah, that my message. I believe I talked about everything they wanted, but I'm looking forward to your comments uh, and also yeah, enjoy the the location actually. Um, I can't switch the cameras into the front camera just yet, so I'm gonna have to move myself out of the view and just show you.